Hello, welcome to my second video, and uh, this uh, here, what you're looking at, is a sun, although it doesn't really look like a sun right now, um, looks like a ball, but it is a sun, and I'll turn on the, the shading in a second so you can see, but first I'm going to talk about the geometry a bit. Um, unlike the last video, this isn't uh, done with voxels, um, this is just kind of a, a plain terrain mesh but it does have some features. It has uh, chunks. These are triangular chunks. You can see them here. And it'll rechunk um, if you zoom in. And uh, ah, as with the, uh, the voxel stuff, the, the chunks actually will change size. Um, and that's kind of necessary if you want like large scale stuff because um, if you zoom out far enough, pretty soon, if you have, if you don't resize your chunks, your chunk will become like uh, one triangle, and that's not very useful. So, um, so basically, yeah, the chunks change size as as, as you move in and out. Um, also, the back side is called. If I like flip it around real, let's see if I can get it to do it. Well, it's actually pretty fast. So, uh, if I if I compiled it in debug mode, you'd see that the back side isn't there, but it's it's updating it so fast. Um, that it's uh, you can't really see it very well, but it has like uh, there's a backside calling, so it's not, it doesn't actually build the backside. Oh, maybe if I zoom in, and then I flip it around. Yeah, there you can kind of see it. It for a second it, it disappears. Um, there it goes. So um, yeah, that's you know just save some uh, resources and stuff like that when you don't really need to see the backside of it. Um, it does the same thing with the chunking uh, uh, spheres, you know. It's actually more important there because the resources are much higher. But uh, anyway, so uh, what else? Okay, so now I'm going to turn on the shading and do that, and there it is. So this is kind of a plain, like, five-dimensional noise uh, shading. So this is just like raw noise um, and applied to a, a color map. Um, the reason I use five dimensions is obviously you have three dimensions for the ball itself, but I use two dimensions for time. And the reason I use two instead of one is because you know time is linear, and uh, on the GPU you only have single precision numbers, and it's easy to get out of range. You know, if you just let it keep going forward. So with the two-dimensional. Um, uh, for time, I basically, you can imagine it like the hand, the second hand of a clock, and it's sweeping around, and it's going through like uh, kind of an XY axis, and you, those are the other two dimensions that you can apply to your noise function. So you have three for the actual object, and two for time, and that means you're going to get like a loop every, in this case it's like every minute, so every minute this thing will repeat. You could, you could set it to to repeat like every hour or um, you could you know could be faster um, also you can set how fast the, the, the image changes by how many uh, by the kind of almost like the length of the second hand <laughs> if it made it shorter it would like it would change really fast but um, so you have the options of setting the uh, the time for repeating and how fast the the actual uh, noise function is is changing so got two options there and uh, you know you can zoom in and see so it doesn't really it's only um, they call it one octave of noise right now so I could apply like other octaves to it and do weird things with it and probably I will later but this is just my first pass at it so um, in any case uh, that's it for now um, hopefully next video I'll have my planet going around the Sun and it'll be uh, shaded with the, uh, I'll set a light from the sun so it'll shade the planet. It'll, I'll have some basic shading. It's not going to be anything really fancy. Uh, I won't do shadows yet, but um, but hopefully it'll look pretty cool. Anyway, um, okay. Well, I'll see you next time if you're still interested. Bye.